welcome to the 2020 Hare County Middle School Awards Assembly. This is certainly not how we expected for our last day of school to be and much less our awards assembly. But after speaking with faculty and staff, although this awards assembly will be abbreviated, we felt that it was very important to do recognitions for our students. We were here from August until the middle of March, and there have been a lot of great things that our students have accomplished, and we want to take this time to make those recognitions. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off with our 600 SOL test scores. And for those of you who aren't aware, some of our students did take SOL tests in the fall. We weren't able to take SOL tests at the end of the school year, but some of our students who had semester classes were able to take SOL tests. And we do have a group of distinguished students who made the perfect 600 scores on various SOL tests. We would like to take this time to recognize those students for their accomplishments and we will have certificates for these students and we will get those to them at the end of the school year or during our drive through when parents drop off Chromebooks. And if anyone wants to come and pick up any award, any certificate during the summer, we will be happy to honor that as well. All right, so starting out with our 600 perfect scores on SOL tests. Civics and Economics, first semester, Jasmine Marion. World History One, first semester, Aiden Hill, Ashlyn Newman, and Owen Ward. Science Eight, first semester, Caitlin Wheatley. Algebra One, Perfect 600, first semester, Davis Reitzel and Caitlin Wheatley. Grade Eight Writing. For Grade Eight Writing, this test is made up of two tests combined. So not only did the students have to receive a perfect score on the multiple choice, grammar, usage, and mechanics part of the test, but they also had to write a flawless essay. Those students in eighth grade who scored a perfect 600 on the writing SOL test were Will Bond, Becky Hedge, Cassidy Ladd, William Levi May, Alexis Montgomery, Landon Phipps, Davis Reitzel, Victoria Tory Tabor, Mally Thomas, and Madison Wardwell. We are very proud of these perfect 600 students and just can't say enough of how difficult that is for one person to do. So moving right along, I want to talk about Cavalier Pride tickets. Cavalier Pride tickets are a very big deal here at Carroll County Middle School. Teachers give out Cavalier Pride tickets for students for a variety of reasons. Good citizenship, a student may turn in a lost cell phone or show kindness toward another student, and they would receive a Cavalier Pride ticket from a teacher who noticed that act of kindness. Teachers also give Cavalier Pride tickets for good attendance, good effort in the classroom, making a 100 on a test, showing improvement. So there are many ways to earn a Cavalier Pride ticket. We give out prizes throughout the year and at our award ceremony every year for these students and we do drawings. So we're gonna go ahead and kick it off. This year we are going to be giving Walmart gift cards. And again, students may pick up those Walmart gift cards here during the summer. 
we will be willing to hold on to them until the uh, start of school next year. And also we will have them available for any winners as parents come by our drive through which will be held May 26th and May 27th. And I will talk about that a little later. So anyway, we're gonna start with our Cavalier Pride drawings and we will be giving out two $10 gift cards to Walmart for this first drawing that we're gonna have. And we're gonna be drawing all throughout our awards ceremony this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is for $10 gift cards to Walmart. All right. Mr. Shumay, would you like to do the honors? Sure. Special thank you to John Carpenter who made our uh, container here for us to do our drawing. So if we could draw for sixth grade right here. And Mr. Shumay, when you do the drawing, if you will uh, just share the student's name and if we have a reason for why they were given the Cavalier Pride ticket. All right, the first one here for uh, creating a Cavaliers Camp participation. Uh, first award goes to Colton Miller. All right, $10 gift card for Colton Miller. Wonderful. And second award for just says simply well done goes to Emma Harmon. All right, Emma Hartman and Colton Miller, our first two winners for $10 gift cards to Walmart. All right, let's go in there and start drawing for seventh grade. Uh, for helping to clean the gym from Miss Nestor, uh, student is Will Greason. All right, Will. And for achieving uh, an AR goal from Ms. Delp's class, Ms. Harbor Stewart. Excellent. I'm gonna dig through here and draw a Cavalier Pride ticket for an eighth grader. And our winner is eighth grade, $10 gift card to Walmart, Ms. Kimberlyn Spencer. And she was nominated by her teacher, Jennifer Leonard, for always being willing to complete any errand asked. So, congratulations, Ms. Kimberly. Group here again, and this is for a $10 gift card to Walmart. And our winner is Mr. Elijah Willis, and he received a Cavalier Pride ticket for great effort in Miss Randy Wilcox's math class. So congratulations, Elijah Willis, $10 gift card to Walmart. And I just want to say, um, we are able to purchase these gift cards to Walmart because of different stakeholders in the community who donate money to the school so that we can recognize our students for their great citizenship and for being the great students that they are. So we do thank our stakeholders who make those donations throughout the school year to help us purchase these gift cards. And we also hold popcorn parties every other month and we use the funds from our popcorn soda socials to purchase these gift cards to help our Cavalier Pride, to help fund our Cavalier Pride ticket campaign. All right, moving right along with our awards assembly. We are going to start giving out the awards for academic excellence in our core classes. We ask our teachers, as we do every year, to choose one outstanding student and one most improved student in the classes of English, math, science, and social studies. 
So each of our teachers, sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, nominated an outstanding student. This would be a student who has a very high academic average and who put forth great effort and was the most outstanding student in math and the most improved student. This is based on who the teacher thought made the most growth throughout the school year. So Mr. Shumate, if you will start recognizing our winners in math, most outstanding students, and most improved. Glad to. All right, starting off with sixth grade, uh, most outstanding math student from Ms. Dalton's class, uh, Andrew Taylor. Most outstanding math student from Ms. Alexander's class, Natalie Marshall. Ms. Stone wishes to recognize Casey Young. Ms. Whirl, Lakin Burnett. Moving on to seventh grade, Ms. Edwards wants to recognize Harbor Stewart. Ms. Billings recognizes Taylor Fields. Ms. Wood, Laurel Sutphin. Mr. Caudell, Ethan Edwards, and also from Mr. Caudell's class, Carmen Smith. Moving on to eighth grade, Ms. Wilcox recognizes Samantha Lineberry. Ms. Iroller recognizes, recognizes Gustavo Huerta Zapeta. Ms. Terry recognizes Emma Brown. And for Algebra 1, Ms. Nestor recognizes Mohammed Mansour. Ms. Nestor from her first semester class recognizes Davis Reitzel. Ms. Wilcox recognizes Mason Anderson. Now moving on to our improved, so our most improved students. Going back to sixth grade, Ms. Dalton recognizes Josie Dalton. Ms. Alexander recognizes Gage Evans. Ms. Stone, Timothy Hill. Ms. Whirl, William Avery Roberts. Seventh grade, most improved math students. Ms. Edwards chose Aiden Burnett. Ms. Billings, Jacob Roberts. Ms. Wood, Hayden Brooks. Mr. Caudell, Noah Rivera. Moving on to eighth grade, Ms. Wilcox chose Holly Easter. Ms. Iroller chose Emily Tate. Ms. Terry chose Riley Coleman. And for Algebra 1, Ms. Nestor chose Jessica Bryce. Ms. Wilcox, Will Bond. And for Ms. Nestor's first semester class, Emily Herrera. All right, and let's just pause for just a moment. Let's do some more Cavalier Pride drawings. And Ms. Edmonds, if we could get you to come over. This is going to be for $25 gift card to Walmart. And we will start with two, four, six grade. Cavalier Pride tickets. $25 gift cards to Walmart. Miss Evans, if you'll do the honors. All right, let's see who we got here. Get down in there. We have first Emily Sayers from Miss Newman for returning signed syllabus. So Emily Sayers, you get a $25 gift card to Walmart. And for being responsible, that's wonderful. Second sixth grade winner here. Sixth grade, you got a bunch in there. Let's see here. We have Alex Cruz for great class participation from Miss Buttonberry. So you guys will both get a $25 gift card. And moving on to seventh grade, we will recognize. Aiden, and I always say your last name wrong, so I apologize. Aiden Ekvari uh, for picking up gym equipment from Miss Nestor. So you get a $25 gift card as well. And Jaden Carlson 
from Ms. Delt for reading your AR book. Now for eighth grade, we've got Holly Akers from Ms. Eye Roller for participating in class and figuring out the answer. And then our second eighth grade winner of a $25 gift card is Allison Blackburn for turning in 10 math bucks from Ms. Mester. So all of you guys will receive a $25 gift card. So awesome, good job. That is wonderful. Well, we're gonna move right along with our academic awards. And we are moving on to English. And I make no secret about it, English is my favorite subject since I taught English for 20 years. So these are our most outstanding students for English. And we will start with sixth grade. Most outstanding student in Ms. Fender's class, Ms. Abigail Wright. For Ms. Casey Questenberry's English class, Fisher McMillan. Most outstanding English student for Ms. Drawdy's class, William Avery Roberts. And most outstanding sixth grade English student out of Miss Lynette Thomas's English class, Garrison Wheatley. Moving on to seventh grade, most outstanding student for Miss Avery Beamer's class, Joshua Boyd. Mrs. Delt's most outstanding student, Harbor Stewart. Ms. Dalton, Ms. Susan Dalton's most outstanding English student, Erica McKenzie. And I think we've heard this student's name before. Ms. Bloomer's most outstanding student, Laurel Sutphin. Moving on to eighth grade most outstanding English students. Ms. Thompson's most outstanding English student, first semester, Callie Lineberry. Ms. Thompson's most outstanding student second semester, Caitlin Wheatley. Year long most outstanding student for English eight, Ms. Thompson's class, Sarah Alderman. Ms. Jennifer Shoemaker's most outstanding student in English, Emma Vernon. Mr. Tyler Gallimore's most outstanding English student, Kiana Reese Nunez. And Ms. Jaleesa Watkins, most outstanding student, Ms. Emily Herrera. Congratulations to our most outstanding English students. Moving on to most improved English students. Sixth grade, Ms. Fender's class, Patience Gardner. Ms. Casey Questenberry's most outstanding student, Landon Blake Phillips. Ms. Drawdies, Alexis Johnson. And most improved student for Ms. Lynette Thomas's class, Rachel Tobler. Seventh grade, most improved student. Ms. Avery Beamer's class, Hunter Phelps. Ms. Tammy Delt's class, Grace Bolden. Ms. Susan Dalton's most improved student, Will Greeson. And Ms. Bloomer's most improved student, Michael Williams. And finally, our eighth grade most improved English students, Ms. Thompson, Paola Garcia, Ms. Jennifer Shoemaker's most improved student, Ava Limeberry, Mr. Tyler Gallimore's most improved student, Rodney Blaine Ayers, and Ms. Jaleesa Watkins, most improved student, Clayton Terman. So congratulations to those students. Ms. Edmonds, are we ready to do some more Cavalier Pride drawings? Yes. Let's do one per grade $50 gift card to Walmart. Maybe you should draw these. Well, I'm gonna really dig in there and see who could be the winner of the $50 gift card. That would go quite far at Walmart. All right, and our sixth grade winner.
Carla Lozano for being a participant of our Creating Cavaliers Camp. And she was nominated by Miss Laura I. Roller. $50 gift card. All right. Seventh grade. All right, our seventh grade winner, <laughs> Miss Elizabeth Nestor. And she was nominated by Kendra Marshall for cleaning tables in the cafeteria. And for those of you who don't know, our students do a great job of keeping our cafeteria clean every single day when we're here. So we really appreciate those students who volunteer to do that. And our eighth grader, $50 Walmart winner. Zoe Bowser. And she was nominated by her math teacher, Miss Terry, for great participation in class. Congratulations, Zoe. So that is for a $50 gift card. So moving right along, we are going to now recognize our most outstanding and most improved science students. So Miss Edmonds, if you will come over and do the honors. All right, science. Most outstanding science students, sixth grade. First, we have for Ms. Carter's class, first semester, Samuel Brown. From Ms. Carter's second semester, Damian Dobbs. Mr. Nottingham, first semester, Emma Staples. And for second semester from Mr. Nottingham, most outstanding science student, Abigail Wright. Seventh grade life science, most outstanding. First semester from Ms. Goad, Ethan Edwards. <laughs> Second semester from Ms. Goad, Austin Chenault. Continuing with seventh grade life science, most outstanding students for Ms. Oakley. First semester, Harper Stewart. And second semester, Ms. Oakley, Jasmine Marion. Eighth grade physical science, most outstanding students. For Ms. Hendrick, first semester, we have Caitlin Wheatley. And for second semester, Ms. Hendrick, we have Jacob Osborne. Dr. Nowall, first semester, Jaden Turner. Second semester for Dr. Nowall, we have Dalton Norman. And for Mr. John, second semester, we have Katherine Lindemood. Moving on to most improved science students for sixth grade. Ms. Carter, first semester, Phoenix Baker. Ms. Carter, second semester, Dustin Sheets. Mr. Nottingham, first semester, most improved science student, Samantha Rose. And for second semester from Mr. Nottingham, we have Jace Frazier. Seventh grade, most improved science student for life science. For Ms. Goad, first semester, we have Jacob McGrady. And Ms. Goad, second semester, we have Sean Hodge. For Ms. Oakley, first semester, we have Maria Bautista. And second semester for Ms. Oakley, most improved science student, Isaiah Dakin. For our eighth grade most improved science students in physical science, Mr. John's first semester, we have Lauren Bond. And Mr. John's second semester, we have Javen Talley. Ms. Hendricks' first semester, Emmanuel Lazaro. And Ms. Hendricks' second semester, Isabella Cole. From Dr. Noel's first semester, we have Preston Blevins. And for second semester, Dr. Noel's most improved science student is Caden Reeves. Next, we have history. We'll just keep on rolling here. Most outstanding history students for sixth grade, this is US History II. And Ms. Lucas has, for her most outstanding students, first semester, Eli Whirl. And for second semester, Grady Questenberry. Mr. Cheryl has, for his first semester, Rihanna Bunn. And second semester, Terry Woods. For our seventh grade history, which is civics and economics, 
Ms. Marshall has from her first semester, Jasmine Marion, and from her second semester, Carmen Smith. I'm sorry. She also has Carmen Smith for her first semester. Must have been a tie there. Sometimes we have that. Sometimes we have those. Um, Ms. Marshall's second semester most outstanding civic student is Laurel Sutphin. For Mr. King's civics and economics most outstanding student, we have Dominique Sage Blankenship for first semester. And Mr. King's second semester most outstanding student is Harbor Stewart. For our eighth grade, World History One most outstanding students. First semester from Mr. Hash's room, Ashlyn Newman. From Mr. Hash's second semester, we have Emma Vernon. From Ms. Hyatt's first semester, we have Megan Anderson. And from Ms. Hyatt's second semester, we have Caitlin Wheatley. From Ms. Frazier's first semester, we have William Bowman. And from her second semester, we have Margaret Swisher. Now moving on to our history, most improved history students. In sixth grade, our most improved history students for Ms. Lucas first semester, we have Estuardo Carrillo. And for second semester, we have Evan Connor. Mr. Cheryl's most improved history student from first semester is Jace Frazier. And second semester, Timothy Hill. For our civics and economics most improved, we have from Ms. Marshall's first semester, Elizabeth Nestor, and from Ms. Marshall's second semester, Maria Bautista. And for Mr. King's first semester most improved, we have Austin Nicholas Marshall. Our eighth grade World History One most improved students. For Mr. Hash's first semester, we have Gustavo Zepeda. For Mr. Hash's second semester, Kimberlyn Spencer. Ms. Hyatt's first semester most improved student, Andrea Morales. Ms. Hyatt's second semester most improved student is Haley Wilson. And for Ms. Frazier's first semester most improved student, we have Zoe Balser. And second semester from Ms. Frazier's World History One most improved student is Clayton Turman. Those are our most improved, most outstanding for science and history. And I just want to say again that those perfect 600 test scores, those students will receive a certificate as well as our most outstanding students and our most improved students. Those certificates can be picked up in the Chromebook drop-off, which is May 26th and May 27th or you can simply uh, get your certificate when we return to school. We will keep those for you. We will pass those on to the high school for any of our eighth grade students, or those awards can be picked up during the summer as we will be here every day from eight o'clock until four to pick up those certificates, those awards for 600s, and most outstanding and most improved students. So congratulations to all of those students for their hard work. All right, well, we are moving on at this point to recognize our Spelling Bee winners. And these were our Spelling Bee winners school-wide. Our sixth grade Spelling Bee winner Miss Kaylee D. Haven, our seventh grade spelling bee winner, Erica McKenzie, and our eighth grade spelling bee winner, Miss Gracie Tate. And Gracie Tate did advance to the county spelling bee, as did Erica and Kaylee, but Gracie came in as first runner up. So congratulations to Miss Gracie Tate. And our geography bee winner for our school was seventh grade student, Mr. Carson Smith. So congratulations to our Spelling Bee and Geography Bee winners. All right, let's do some more Cavalier Pride ticket drawings. 
Miss Edmonds, let's draw one per grade for $10. $10 for Walmart for sixth grade. Going to go to Haley Willis from Ms. Thomas for great participation. So Ms. Haley Willis gets a $10 gift card. And for seventh grade, we're going to go with Ethan Edwards for meeting your AR goal for Ms. Delk. And eighth grade. We have well got you gotta put your first and last name on these because we can't use it if we don't have your first and last name. Sorry. Try again here. Preston Blevin from Ms. Nestor for doing great in class. So you guys will all receive a ten dollar gift card that we will hold on for you, hold on to for you, or you can pick up in our drive through or sometime this summer. All right, and moving right along to our art awards, and I just want to um, announce here that we did continue with our art fair with our wonderful art show this year. It was done virtually. And if you go to the Carroll County Public School website, you can see all of our winners, all of their beautiful talent on display on the Carroll County Public School webpage. So for our art winners, these students will have their artwork framed and this artwork will hang at the Carroll County Government Complex for the 2020-2021 year. These students also receive a $20 check. So congratulations, it is a tremendous honor to be chosen to have your artwork displayed in the Carroll County Government Complex. So our winners who were chosen for this honor, Quint Leonard, he also, Mr. Quint Leonard, also won Best in Show for the intermediate level and will be judged at the Virginia School Board Association Art Competition. So congratulations to Quint. Juliana Marshall, Ashlyn Newman, Harley Dell, Tori Tabor, Jessica Bryce, Natalie Garcia, Carly Wright, Garrison Wheatley, Katie Graham, Seth Atkins, Owen Ward, Bryce Roller, Drew Beamer, Caitlin Wheatley, Bradley Sprouse, Jaden Turner, Abby Cochran, Jay Burnett, and Zora Richardson. All of these students will have their artwork framed and displayed at the Carroll County Government Complex. And again, please check out their artwork. You need to see it for yourself to just realize how talented our art students are at Carroll County Middle School. And I'd like to say a big thank you to Ms. Tia Duncan Stewart and Ms. Shana Parnell for all of their guidance and teaching of our wonderful art students here at Carroll County Middle School. We are going to move on now to our band students who were chosen for all district band. And this involves an audition, learning a piece of music, then performing and being judged by a group of musicians. So our winners, Mr. Shumay, if you will do the honors, our all district band okay, we had winners. Three students that were recognized for having uh, been chosen for the all district band. Those three students, David Howes, Isaac Dakin, and Jennifer Conklin. Congratulations guys. And continuing with arts, we would like to recognize, and we will have certificates for these students, our students who were chosen for all district course. 
Again, this involves the students learning a piece of music and auditioning in front of a distinguished group of judges. So our students from Carroll County Middle School who were chosen for all district chorus, Maddie Spencer, Emma Brown, Lindsay Gardner, Nathaniel Dalton, Bethany Melton, Brooke Fictel, Ian Montgomery, Amelia Littrell, Callie Harris, and Caitlin Compton. Congratulations to our students in chorus who were selected for all district chorus. All right, let's get back to our Cavalier Pride drawings. Mr. Shoemake, would you like to do the honors? Let's draw one each grade for a $25 gift card to Walmart. Sixth grade. This student uh, is being recognized for helping a classmate and teacher above and beyond from Ms. Tina Edwards. And I believe that is Ivan Reyes. That is correct. Ivan Reyes. All right. Congratulations, Ivan. $25 gift card. For seventh grade. This student is being recognized by Ms. Susan Dalton for helping out with cleaning. And the student's name is Harley Mallory. Finally, for eighth grade, this student is being recognized by Miss Leonard for creating a successful fishing rod out of certain materials. The student's name is Ashton Coe. Congratulations. All right. This next group of people that we would like to recognize are students who go above and beyond as student helpers here at Carroll County Middle School. These are students who are very trustworthy, who have good work ethics, and are willing to help the adults on campus with various jobs, with errands. And honestly, we couldn't make it without these students. And we really appreciate the responsibility each and every one of these students um, has had this school year in helping us. These students will also receive a certificate and a gift card for all of their work as CCMS helpers. Helping in the office, and let me just say, working in the office last block is quite the task. These students have to go all over the school delivering transportation letters and just um, notifications and helping with any extra duties that come into play because it gets very busy around here at the end of the school day on a regular day. All right, our office aides, Brooke Webb, Andrew Taylor, Silent Sparks, Madeline Spencer, and Michaela Gallimore. We also have another helper in the office, Miss Holly Akers and she has gone above and beyond as a nurse's helper and she has really been a tremendous help to our school nurse miss lisa frost thank you miss holly for all of your help in the nurse's office these students are being recognized and rewarded for all of their hard work in the library helping librarian miss scarlett mckenzie Amanda Everhart, Catherine Lindemood, Lauren Bond, Sarah Shumate, Erica Schaefer, Madison Wardwell, Caitlin Wheatley, Landon Phipps, Yara Flores, Garrison Wheatley, and Damon Dimes. So again, all of our student helpers Thank you for being the great citizens that you are and for having such a good work, work ethic and for being willing to go above and beyond here at Carroll County Middle School. So thank you and you all will be receiving a Walmart gift card and we will make up a certificate for you all as well. 
We have a new category this year that I'm going to let Miss Edmonds talk to us about. As you all are aware, school abruptly ended for us here at Kerr County Middle School on March 13th. And our students had to take on the role of being distance learners. And we really felt that we needed to give special awards to students who went above and beyond as distant learners. I also want to take this time to thank our parents. We know that this has involved you at an incredible level. All of your support, all of your encouragement to your students. We are very proud of our students for continuing this last nine weeks, putting forth effort and doing their best in a situation that just could not be avoided. So our teachers selected star distance learners, and these are kids who have gone above and beyond as online learners, as paper packet learners during this last nine weeks. So Ms. Edmonds, if you'd like to do the honors for our star distance learners. As Ms. Burnett said, that was not an easy task to take on, but your teachers have recognized some of you who have just exceeded expectations in these times that are just unprecedented and gone above and beyond. So we wanted to take some time to recognize you guys um, at this time. So our star distance learners, these certificates are going to go to the following students. Ms. Oakley is recognizing two students as star distance learners, Madison Miller and Allison Amstutz. That's for science. Dr. Nowall for science is recognizing Ms. Brooke Phipps. Mr. Nottingham wants to recognize for his science class, Abram Bunn. Ms. Fender wants to recognize for her English class, Jace Frazier. And Ms. Dalton, for her math class, wants to recognize Brianna Dean. Ms. Nestor wants to recognize for her PE class, Emily Tate. Mr. Cheryl, for history, Terry Woods. Ms. Drawdy, for her English class, wants to recognize Olivia Eyroller. Ms. Questenberry, for her English class, wants to recognize Caden Miller. Mr. King, for civics, wants to recognize Kaylee Johnson. Ms. Wood, for math, wants to recognize Ms. Erica McKenzie. Ms. Billings wants to recognize for her math class, Mason Crockett. Continuing with our star distance learners, Ms. Goad, for her science class, wants to recognize Nevaeh Shockley and Kasara Roberts. Ms. Delp would like to recognize for her English class, Lydia Lewis. Ms. Edwards would like to recognize for her math class, Allison Anstutz. Ms. Thomas, for English, Lake and Burnett. Ms. Bloomer, also for English class, would like to recognize Mason Sawyers. Ms. Nestor, for her algebra class, would like to recognize Emma Vernon. Mr. Gallimore, for English, Ricardo Lopez. Ms. Lucas, for history, would like to recognize Josie Marshall. Ms. Terry, for math class, would like to recognize Zoe Balser. Ms. Hendrick, for her science class, would like to recognize Joshua Paget. Ms. Alexander, for math, Tucker Hilton. Ms. Stone, also for math, would like to recognize Cameron Akers. Ms. Shoemaker for English would like to recognize Damian Goodson. Ms. Parnell would like to recognize for her art class, Jimmy Alvarado. Ms. Parnell also has a STEM class, so she would like to recognize Kyle Bunn. Mr. Moore, for course, would like to recognize Wilson Hyatt. Ms. Dalton for English would like to recognize Hayden Brooks. Ms. Thompson for English would like to recognize Hayden Edwards. Ms. Worrell for math, Garrison Wheatley. Ms. Marshall for her civics class would like to recognize Lindsay Elledge and Nevaeh Dow. 
Ms. Hyatt for World History One would like to recognize Rocky Hunley. Ms. Watkins for her English class would like to recognize Alex Harris. Ms. Beamer would like to recognize for her English class Cameron Snow and Isaiah Smith. And Ms. Tobler would like to recognize for her drama class Riley Coleman. So congratulations to all you star distance learners and you will have a certificate available for you as well. Should we do some cash drawing? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. We have, let's do um, $25, all right, to Walmart. And our winner is Christina Alderman. And she was nominated by Miss Marley Drawdy for going above and beyond in class. Congratulations, Christina Alderman, sixth grade. All right, seventh grade. Our winner, Kaylee Johnson, and she was nominated by Miss Tammy Dale for going above and beyond and earning her accelerated reader reading goal. Congratulations, Miss Kaylee. And our eighth grade, and Miss Evans, you said this is for $25? Yes, ma'am. Our eighth grade Cavalier Pride ticket winner. That person has already won, but we're going to share the well. Absolutely. All right. Macon Anderson, and he was nominated by Miss Kayla Nestor for all of his help with our FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. So, Bacon Anderson, congratulations. I think we have another round of 25 available too. Okay, one each grade. Mm -hmm. Is this our final drawing? No, we have a few more. Oh, wonderful. Okay, let's dig around in here, sixth grade. All right, our sixth grade winner. Emma Harmon, and she was nominated by Miss Amanda Dalton for a job well done in class. I think Emma already won as well. Did she? Yeah, okay. She was one of our first winners. All right. Thank you for catching that, Miss Edmund. I'll draw again for sixth grader because we definitely want to spread this out. Bailey Stiltner. And she was another one of our participants in our Creating Cavaliers camp. All right, Miss Bailey Stiltner. Seventh grade. Harley Dell. And this was another one of our students meeting their reading goal. And she was nominated by Miss Tammy Dell. And eighth grade, our eighth grade Cavalier Pride ticket, Mr. David Shrewsbury, and he was nominated by Miss Monica Thompson for a top score, top score on a test, Mr. David Shrewsbury. All right, our final, we have one more $50 gift card for each, for one for each grade level. Oh, wow. Mr. Shumate, would you like to come over and do the honors for our last three big winners? Be happy to. Fifty dollar gift card to Walmart. All right, fifty dollar Walmart gift card, sixth grade. Receiving a ticket from Miss Dalton for just says well done, Timber Monday. Congratulations, Timber. $50. Seventh grade. Uh, getting a Kevlar Pride ticket from Miss Susan Dalton for cleaning Miss Rebecca Hancock. And eighth grader receiving a Kevlar Pride ticket for going above and beyond in math from Miss Terry Rory Bond. Great job. 
And here at the conclusion of our virtual awards assembly, I just wanted to mention that Mr. Carpenter and Ms. Corey Bowman, our agriculture teachers, our FFA chapter sponsors, want the students to know that our FFA award winners will be recognized. They are planning to do their award ceremony, their banquet at a later date. They are not canceling the FFA awards program. They are planning to continue with that as soon as we are able to go back to normal and do so. So we have not forgotten our FFA award winners. I do want to just say that we miss the students so much. We didn't really um, get to give a proper goodbye to our students on that day of March 13th. We had no idea that we would not be returning for the rest of the school year. And this especially hurts when we think about our eighth graders who we may not see for a while. We want to wish our eighth graders best of luck at Carroll County High School. We want you all to know that we are here for you if you ever need anything, and that's with any of our students. But we want our eighth graders to know that they are always part of the Carroll County Middle School family. And good luck at the high school. You are going to do great, You're going to do great things there, and we look forward to following you all and reading about you in the paper and hearing about all the great things that you were going to do as high school students. So best of luck to our eighth graders as you go on to Carroll County High School. Two final announcements. I just want to say that, again, thank you to our stakeholders. You know who you are. I know that most of you wish to remain anonymous, but for making donations for our Cavalier Pride tickets to enable us to give incentives for our students for their good citizenship, for their hard work in class. We have the best students at Carroll County Middle School, and I don't think anyone would argue with that. But thank you to our stakeholders who make our Cavalier Pride Ticket Program work. And thank you to the students for enjoying our popcorn soda socials and participating in that as we do take the proceeds from our popcorn soda socials and we give that right back to the students with our Cavalier Pride Ticket Program. All right, and finally, Tuesday, May 26th, and Wednesday, May 27th, we will be here all day, eight o'clock until about five o'clock to collect Chromebooks, athletic uniforms, library books, instruments, anything that students have that they need to turn back into the school, the primary item, Chromebook collection. We need to get those Chromebooks back and cleaned up and ready for if we need to use them again. Hopefully we will not need to use those in the future, but if that happens, we will have them. Also, we will have stations set up for parents to pick up screen pictures and locker contents. So we will have all of our locker contents bagged up for the students and ready to go, spring pictures, and yearbooks. Yearbooks will not be ready until June, and yearbook uh, production has been halted by COVID-19 as well. Some of those factories have been closed down, and that is why we are having a delay with our yearbook distribution. We will call out um, we'll send out a school reach to let everyone know when those yearbooks are available. Some students did reserve a yearbook. We will have some extra for purchase. So we will send a school reach message out as soon as we know something about yearbooks. All right, Miss Edmonds, Mr. Shoemate, can you think of anything else in our closing of our awards program? Stay healthy, stay safe. Yes, please wash your hands, wash your hands, wear masks, social distance, take care of yourself. We will be together soon. That is my hope. I feel very strongly about it. 
We love you all. We miss you. And again, we are here this summer. We are here for you, parents, students. Please feel free to give us a call if you need any help with registration for your student. If that hasn't been done yet, class registration for the next school year. Anything you need, just give us a call and we will be happy to help. Have a great summer. Today is the last day of school. Enjoy, and again, we will have certificates here for pickup at our drive-thru, Walmart gift cards available at our drive-thru. We will hold on to them all summer until the next school year. And if you want to pick them up anytime this summer, please feel free to do so. Students, have a great summer. Bye.